Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, as we're on our way, I would like to share some thoughts on friendships. Or we can make it even broader. Relationships. It's come to my attention over the course of my journey that many people value relationships. I'm one of those people. What I've come to realize, however, is on my way, there's been nuanced difference between how I view said relationships. Two words that came to mind a couple of days ago were loyalty and devotion. Now it's interesting that it came to mind because I honestly, uh, I've always viewed myself as a loyal person, loyal to a fault as some would say. So I beg the question, well, what's the difference? Because I have some people that I've crossed in my life. They're on their own journeys. And they see loyalty different than me. As many of us do, I've made different changes in my life. And for each change, I'm loyal. Until I'm not. Now, does that make me shifty? Does that make me unauthentic? Not necessarily. Let me explain. The etym etymological definition, that word gets me a lot, <laughs> of loyalty. I'll go ahead and paraphrase it for you. Loyalty is fidelity legitimacy, honesty, good quality. When I think about that, I think about the attention that I gave or that I still give to relationships that I have. And this is not just with fellow travelers. This is with souvenirs, artifacts of the past and the present, even some of the future that I simply have ideas and visions of. I have a loyalty to those things. But as I grow and expand, just as many do on their way, some souvenirs will be left alone. Some souvenirs will be traded. Some souvenirs that hit you longer ride. When I begin to realize, well, loyalty is not such a bad thing. It really gives you a insight on what you're viewing or where you're headed or where you're stuck at. Then we go to the second word, devotion. Profound religious emotion, awe, reverence. In ancient Latin, an act of consecrating by vow, also loyalty, fealty, allegiance in church Latin. See, devotion and loyalty sound like they could be the same, but it's not. See, I realized I got the two confused a lot of my life. I was being blindly loyal or devoted to people, places, things, actions that were not, uh, they were not helpful. That's how it goes. And as I become wiser on my journey, as I broaden the way that I see my journey and the way in which I choose to direct myself, I build different relationships with those words. Being honest with you. Is devoted to a family who is unable to support my changes, my growth. 
and they've always shown those signs. No matter how much I seemingly supported them, but in all honesty, I'm a product of some of that same thinking as well. So when I broke out of that shell, chose a different path, an extremely different path, I saw how blind my devotion was. Choosing that different path, my backpack got lighter. Souvenirs dropped off left and right. People's places, things, habits. The sun was brighter. And I saw that I was stuck in a place because I was holding on to devotion instead of trusting what was calling from within that was directing me towards a different loyalty. I share this in full transparency because if it reaches one traveler, I've, I've done a service. And that's a beautiful feeling. I don't want to make it too personal or simply about me. So I leave the, the context in a broad aspect. But if anything, I'm here to share with you what I've learned on my journey, what I'm still learning and grasping on my journey. And I really hope it sparks something in you as well. That changes your way, alters your direction, or broadens your vision. Because truthfully, that's what the journey is about. With all those things said, I thank you for your time. These are the thoughts to share at the moment. And I look forward to speaking to you fellow travelers and you sharing your insights with me as well. Until then, be blessed.